What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Back at it again. You know what this means. Time to get back to work on the enduro cars. Uriah's driving again. I feel like this is the only way he's going to learn how to drive a car is he keeps having to get towed around. Y'all enjoy the video. So we made it back down to the house. So proud of Uriah, that joker. <laughs> he has learned to drive one of these so good. I'm hoping that all this practice with towing these cars back and forth from the house is teaching him some something about whenever he starts practicing his go-kart again. Uriah is about to uh, embark on a new adventure. We're gonna get his go-kart out here shortly and uh, get it redone and get him on a practice track that I found. Oh, it's come undone. But uh, the agenda for today's video is you guys saw that we worked on this car, the Enduro car, and didn't have much luck with the wiring harness. So I'm bringing this car back down to my house today <coughs> to rip the harness out. So that's literally all I'm about to do is I gotta get this harness pulled out of this car once I do, this car is going to the junkyard out in the scrap field. The, the, I said that wrong. It's going to the scrap pile out in the field. There we go. Let's get this wiring harness out. Hey, Uriah. What? Hey, I have a surprise for you. What is it? Guess what? What? What did we do the other night and everybody got to see us do? Um, Where did we go? I hope it's that RC car thing. Guess what daddy got you? What? <laughs> <laughs> I got you in a... Wait, 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 wait. What is that? It's an RC. All right, what color is it? Blue. Blue. Right. And look, it's just like the other one. But listen, hold on. I got to show you how to run it. And guess what you have? A turbo button. That red button. I'll teach you how to use it. You did so good at the RC track. This is what we're gonna practice with, okay? Turn your red button on, or your red switch. Now go down there and flip your car over and turn that switch on. Flip it over, and there's a switch, a white one. <gasps> there it is, ready? <laughs> your steering's right here, remember? Crash. All right, you have fun. I'm gonna go work on this car, okay? Oh, out of here. <laughs> Let's get to work. So it's been about, I don't know, 20 minutes. And whenever you don't care about something and you just gotta get it out, you just do what you gotta do to get it out. So I have not saved one thing, just been ripping, rocking and rolling. And this is the result. You make things happen. So I, like I said, I've literally been out here 10 minutes. Boys are playing over there. And there is what I need, that harness right there. So I'm almost done. We'll come back when I have that baby sitting in the floor of my shop. Just like that, wiring harness is out. There she is laying over in there. So Uriah said, Dad, how am I gonna steer? And I said, oh yeah, I didn't think about that. So I'm gonna throw this back in there and then done with this. Anybody wants it, come get it. P.S. For the record, that's two days in a row now that Austin and Kevin actually are at their real jobs and I'm working on the car without them. So y'all remember that now, that's twice. Uh-oh, uh-oh, no brakes, no brakes. <laughs> uh, tree will stop it. There we go. Uphill. Oh. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it hard. Hit the tree. Ah! <laughs> you hit the tree. Turn the other way. Uriah crashed into the tree. Turn it more. You're up against the tree, son. Turn more! Oh my gosh! Turn it 
more to the right. You're up against the tree. All right. Here we go. Stop. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Woo! Did you just see your right hit the tree? <laughs> Don't hit my gate thing, Uriah. Judah, are you okay? No. What's wrong with you? No. <laughs> Whoa, go, go, go. He's going downhill. Yeah, we are popping major willies. All right, go, Judah. <laughs> hey, Ezra wasn't scared. Were you scared? No. All right, go to mommy. She'll, she'll fix it. Hey, you busted the window when you hit that tree. You busted that window when you hit the tree. The front window, you busted it. Hey, you messed up daddy's door right here. Come up. Can you believe you destroyed my door? You hit the tree. I didn't you, you, want you. I didn't tell you to do that. I just did. Go get in. Hey, guess what? You busted my window out. You're going to have to pay for that out of your allowance money to get a new window. No, you're the one that had to do that because you told me to. Okay, get in. <laughs> Trust me. I can't do nothing on this video. I told him to hit the tree for the video, and now he just said, No, you're the one who told me to. <laughs> Uriah, why are you crying? Tell me. Hey, I saw you crash into that tree. You did it on purpose. No, I didn't. Then who did it? <laughs> Guys, for the video, I told him to crash into the tree. <laughs> he crashed into the tree and now he's mad. <laughs> I love the guy. Hey, I was just joking. <laughs> so guys, it's the next day, and let me tell you something. Kevin ain't gonna say thank you. Austin, y'all haven't seen what has happened, but the harness, Austin put it in the other night. Let, get, let me have. I'm, listen, I'm hold on, guys. Serious. Hold up. I thought you said don't... when he put it in. I thought it was. No, listen. Let me tell y'all the backstory because y'all ain't seen up, this. Man. First of all, Uriah's okay from smashing the tree. <laughs> Uriah said it was in, and I was like, "Listen, we don't want to. You don't know because... about this, but Uriah wrecked that other car and slammed it into a tree. And yeah, thing. yeah, I know he's like, just bury that. <laughs> look, <laughs> so I got the harness out. Y'all saw that took me, you know, two hours. It was actually took me a little bit longer because I had to take stuff apart to get this harness through and yeah. blah blah blah. But look, I brought the harness out to Austin. He demanded I bring it down. I got it down here." And I get a message all of a sudden from Austin saying the harness didn't work. I said, you got to be kidding me. Kevin legit said. No, there's way more stories. <laughs> no, Austin didn't have 25 plugs no, plugged in. Here's the, here's the dilly do. All right, you, you go ahead. This is going to be a lot. So I plug it in. I ground the wires, the three scholars said. Long story short, nothing. Click. Sir, we don't even have that thing in it. It's right I don't even think we need that. We might need this. If they don't need it, somebody can buy it. Anyway. $20. It clicks. <laughs> and as you can tell by the look of this, y'all know what this means. Some rigging. We were, not getting, riggery. we were not getting power to this right here. We used to teach all these people this. We're going to show you. The one that yeah, gives power. Dang, dang. We were getting we're power at? to the starter, but it wasn't sending it to the... Come on now. Are you, thank you. You're making me look right, embarrassed right here. Okay. Wasn't getting to the <laughs> solenoid. So, Melman and Flem go gorilla style on this thing. <laughs> you mean dirt cheap? Non-gorilla style. So anyway, 
we get it to where it's spinning over. No, no, no. All right. Something that looks just like that at work. <laughs> we, yeah. We could not figure out. We were not worried fun, because eh? Kevin could have. Kevin could have just ran us a switch. Now, Kevin, yeah, I knew Kevin didn't said, care. He would have just said that. we were going to use a switch. No, he would have figured it out. But okay. Kevin's not here, so I said we're going to do a wire. Next thing you know, we hear a clicking on this thing. So we swap for this one. Out remember, other, guys, we have. Car. Remember, we have two harnesses. We have the one that came so, in it and the one that I got out. We swap. Me and the mailman swap. That's why there's some loose wires. We put the harness in. Then we think it's the clutch. The pedal has to be down, so we put the clutch in. Long story short, we've got nothing. We say we'll wait for Kevin. Kevin's about to go on vacation, and and keep it going, Scott, because we're back to informational. I'm laying in bed. I get out the shower. I watch a video, and I say, you know what? I'm gonna try some electrical guru stuff. I come and find out that it don't matter which wire, none of these are getting power. Hmm. So we had nothing to the distribute. getting power. I pull a uh, thing and uh, injector wire and do this thing that people that know about, put the test light here, no ground. I said, we've got a major issue. Which well, y'all are gonna see, there's some wires running across that don't look like they'd usually go there plugged in here from the old harness. We didn't have them plugged in. We didn't know nothing about them. <laughs> I plug it in, everything starts working. Except? We're getting power to the distributor. I do some tests. I got power to here for a second, who knows. But now, it's spinning over. We're getting power, we're just not getting fire. All right, so that's where we left off last night, so we which was quits. the night that I pulled the harness. So Austin and Dad took a break. Well, K9 showed up. It ain't Tuesday. No. It's no, Thursday. He's going on vacation. Because he's right. leaving to go on vacation. He ain't though. coming back <laughs> till we'd have one day to get it ready. Electrical where are you going? Gatlinburg. Gatlinburg. That's right. That's when you're supposed to go get that car. And I just will huh. say this. He did this in 35 minutes he's been here. All right. So you're telling me that this car cranks. So he could. Well, hold up. It's going to crank. He could have showed up. The day before the race, and if we would have just kept, he still would have probably made the race. All right, Our so you so got way you, too serious. I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> this is funny. What was it, Kevin? When we didn't think that it worked, Dad, the mailman was checking this. I grabbed the one off the ground from the other car or from somewhere and swapped them. This one ain't getting power. This is bad. I Kevin. told him to go get the scanner because we want to see the if they're scanner. Ready. Yeah, yeah. so scanner remember, remember the uh, Wayne who gave us this car told us there was an issue with the the this wiring is from the one that came with it. Oh, or maybe it got swapped. No, some no, my, the one that no came way. with it had grass all in it. That's they both, the one. They both had grass. I'm pretty sure all that's I the tell one. Is we swapped it and then it worked, and because the scanner wouldn't even cut on. Kevin hmm. said the scanner ain't getting power. And I'm just like, there ain't no way we take a run in everything. Kevin swaps it, and before he even gets both wire, we hear the skinner go, beep, beep. And he goes. Got it. All right. Then he checks the spark plug thing, and it's getting power. Then he sticks his little dude off here, and a spark goes, <laughs> And I said, boy, we eating shrimp tomorrow. All right, well, let's hear this thing crank up. So now where we're at right now is oil and fuel. Is fuel the fuel pump kicking on now? Well, I haven't heard. We, we haven't got that far. We started it with. All right. Well, let's let's hear it. Let's hear this thing run. Well, I'm. It's not smart. Let's just hear it we bust off at least. The gas is, and it can go in the motor room. Well, just disconnect it and That's use. What we were doing yeah, when let's up home. let's do it. Hmm. Boy, I'm learning something. <laughs> All right. Hey, we need to. Get, this is transmissions and gear, so we've got a nice system right here. To where when she starts spinning. <laughs> Why is the transmission in gear? Because we had the. Oh, we don't have we the cables. That's right. We haven't. All right, y'all ready? I want to hear this bad boy fire up. Hit the button, Bubba. Oh, it dried out now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Give her some more juice. It's not a smart idea. Why? That stuff though ain't this going. Ain't what runs cars. Yeah, 
Let's get to it. That's embarrassing, dude. Well, you don't have any gas. This is out. <laughs> All right, we'll go get the fuel pump. So here's what we got going on. Sir, what you need a really long hot wire? Kevin's about to make something happen. I got to run, um, at least in this video. Hi. It is December 15th. Tomorrow is my birthday, so I'm going Maybe home not. to prep for that. I'm going to spend the time with the family, help with Little Zion, and get things in order. So Kevin's going to leave after tonight. At least they've got spark, which is a good thing. And um, we'll go from there. Dad got the axles put in. Dad did a lot of awesome work on the roll cage. Got it shaved down and cleaned stuff out. And so that's a plus. And so we'll catch you guys when we come back and work on this car probably the day after my birthday. So December 17th, we'll be back out here and uh, we'll get to work. So we're actually back, guys. It is the next day and today is my birthday. 34 years old. I appreciate each and every person on Facebook who has messaged me and uh, the ones who have called me. It has been an amazing day. Got to go to the park with my sons and my wife and skateboard and ride on the skate park and stuff like that. So it was really fun. But we are back out here. I'm going to take about an hour and a half on my birthday to come and work on the junker, which I think I'm going to start calling this thing. Uh, but pretty soon here, it's not going to be junk. Uh, Austin and dad are down there working on the shifter right now. Kevin, you saw last night that Kevin and Austin got this motor running. Well, they completely figured out everything on that. They got brand new spark plugs put in here. Got it running good. Got the fuel pump wired up. So it's good to go. So this thing pretty much cranks up and runs great. So right now, the game plan, Austin and Dad are getting the shifter hooked up. I'm going to try to get the old wiring harness out and possibly get the leaves and all the junk out of this left side so that the interior is clean. Then we'll start putting the new harness back in and hopefully by that time they'll get the shifter in and we'll get the front suspension back on where we can set this thing back down on all four. So we'll come back in a minute. Not gonna time lapse this one. We're just gonna get some work done and we'll come back and show you guys what we've got done. Dad, did we get a lot done or what? Yeah, it's looking a lot better. All right guys, so we're gonna wrap the video up here. Axles are in, suspension is done all this junk leaves there was more leaves there was enough leaves in here to start 35 bonfires i kid you not pulled out all this insulation and rubberized padding under the dash got all the old harness out got a bunch of weight cut out of here got the new harness put in everything is going to be tucked to nice and neat up, up on the top here steering column section you can see everything has just been redone so austin got shifters hooked up got the oil changed and now he's putting battery trays and batteries and we're done so we're gonna keep them in suspense they gotta watch the next video to see this thing crank and move no, yeah <laughs> this is the end of the video well we'll crank it here in a minute i was gonna leave them in suspense We'll see what happens. Hold on then. We'll come right back and see if this thing busts off. So I was going to keep you guys in suspense, but I'm not. So Austin, you want to go hit the key or dad? One of the two. There you go, Austin. We got a surge. A little bit Good. of a surge. All right. probably drive this thing but you're gonna have to wait till the next video to see that good job austin dad a flint or kevin 
pretty much she can drive around. We gotta hook up fans, we gotta hook up, get seats hooked back up, we gotta do our dash, start making it pretty, right dad? Yeah, get all this junk. All the junk out, but y'all look at this. Dad smoothed everything down so it looks good. Sign us out. It's my birthday, it's time to get Like, party. subscribe, wish y'all a happy birthday, or else.